on today's ProPresenter show how to add effects to ProPresenter, but be careful because it's not supported. Hi, and welcome again to the ProPresenter Show. This is the show where I help you learn about ProPresenter. My name is Paul Allen Clifford. And before we get started, if you'd like to learn more about ProPresenter and related stuff that I share, go ahead and click the subscribe button and the little bell icon so you don't miss being the first to learn about the new tips and tricks that I share. Sometimes, you want ProPresenter to do more than it does. So how, for example, would you add effects to it? Well, if you're okay with doing something that's not supported by a renewed vision, and don't call them up with questions on tutorials like this one, but feel free to ask me in the comment section below, try this. One of the things that I really like about ProPresenter, it's is that it's starting to get to the size that we're seeing third-party tools emerge for it. A lot of these are open source, just people that also program and figured out how to do some things. And that is what we're talking about today. Now, this is totally unsupported. Don't call Renewed Vision up and say, hey, why doesn't this work, or hey, can you make this work, or anything like that. Do not do that. That said, I found this uh, over on the ProPresenter users group. One of the people over there is gray shirt guy. I can't remember his actual name, but he has created a couple of plugins for ProPresenter. So you would go to this address, which I'll leave in the comments below the video and click on clone or download and download the zip unzip it and then follow these directions first off we need to find where we're gonna put this so if you go into Mac OS go here or on Windows you go here you can put these files in there and get some additional capability. So let me show you just how to do this. I've already copied this here. So and I've downloaded these and unzipped them uh, from here. So you see that um, let's start with the rotate, scale, and transform shaders. I've just copied these and I'm going to put these into the resources folder. The easiest way to do that is in Finder go to go and then go to folder and then paste in that address that I showed you just a second ago up here. Copy this, paste it there, click go and that will take you here. Now you want to copy these into there, or what I did was I held down Option on my keyboard and drug them in there so that they're in both places. Basically it makes a copy. And you'll notice that I have these three. Dan Rotate Scale Transform dot frag, Dan Rotate Scale Transform dot RVFX, Dan Rotate Scale Translate dot Vert. First thing you need to know, when you update ProPresenter, these will be written over. So that could cause problems. I had multiple crashes. Again, this is not supported. This is a hack. Pure and simple, a hack. It's unsupported. Don't go crying to renewed vision. I'm just telling you about this cool thing I found. Okay, so you copy these in here and restart ProPresenter, and when you do that, you can right-click on 
any of the videos in the video bin and go to media properties when you do that under effects you'll notice that you have a new effect so first off you'll notice that it's a little wonkified here that's the first thing but let's say that you had a vertical video that needed to be rotated you could apply that here and you could scale it so let's click that this is the old way notice that it goes like this and when I play it now it's rotated um, 90 degrees and it's scaled up so it fits the screen so that's a good way for a background file like this to do it now let me show you when I said that it was wonkified earlier um, this is what happens when I applied it to an image see all that noise and everything so this isn't perfect it's not supported but if you're in a hurry and you need it then this is a possible way to add some additional effects to ProPresenter to get it to do things that Renewed Vision doesn't necessarily want it to do. Remember, this isn't supported. Have I said that enough? And updates would revert it. But with that said, this should give you some extra functionality. If you like this video and want to learn more about it, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. But if you really want to level up your ProPresenter knowledge, join my free mini courses at tdm.fyi slash pro 6 mini. Until next time, this is Paul Allen Clifford from trinitydigitalmedia.com and churchtechu.com reminding you to go out and change eternity. Thank you.